last but not least, let's look at the warning or lost model buzzer. And if we look at the pin out on the 765 wing, we can see that right here in the bottom left is ground, voltage, and buzzer. BZ minus. Over here it says BZ minus and 5 volts. General active 5 volt buzzer. BZ minus 5 volts and ground. Maytech D buzz 5 volts. While we're here, if we just jump over here real quick and look at the products. We can see that the lost model beeper, as they call it, right here. There's our sorter pads. We'll use these three inside ones, 5 volts ground and B minus. And that's according to this data sheet right here, which is not exactly our flight controller, but you can see right here, they're taking a ground over to the ground pin. They're taking a positive voltage over to the five volt pin and right here's their buzzer pad on their flight controller. They're taking the control wire over to B minus. While we're in here real quick, if we look at the bottom of this page, you'll see that there is a iNav mode. Right here. Connect five volts ground and B minus to your flight controller and set the beeper in the modes area. To an RC channel. And I guess here we get to see if it's above mm, 1450. <laughs> then it beeps. That's basically it. So, we're going across these three pins and we have one modes thing to do so if we look at the board here you can see let me look at it real quick first i hope you can see it there's five volts ground and b minus labeled right on those middle three pins i assure you it's there so what I've got is the red going to voltage, the black going to the center to ground, and the outside wire, the orange going to signal. And so in this end there, exactly, if I turn it in this direction, going straight across where they should be, ground, voltage, and signal, on this second set of pins up on this outside corner right here. So there we are. Ground, voltage, and beeper signal. I don't have the pins sorted up right through here. This was the LED pins. So that's where it's on. Now I'm just going to tell you straight up. I don't know how much I'm going to be take, able to take this beeper. Because of course when it powers up you get some beeper signals. Especially an Ardu pilot. And then of course you have the lost model signal. Where you actually have a switch on your radio. To uh, make the beeper go off. So you can locate a lost model. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on again if we power up with USB port. I'm 
doing the beeper switch on my radio get nothing no flight power so we go ahead and turn on the battery <laughs> and we've got a constant beep I'm going to turn off the battery <laughs> and go in real quick into iNav. Ah, uh, see, that thing is brutal. I mean, that thing is brutal. Come on. Com5. Thank you. Connect. The only control we have over this is beeper. is 12 huh my channel 12 is changing that signal then why am I constantly beeping huh That's a not armed, not armed, or some kind of warning like that. Let's see what we can figure out here, real quick. Uh, calibration, we haven't finished that. Oops. Hardware health. Yeah, we don't have a GPS and several other things on it. I wonder if that's what it's complaining about. Uh, Safe going on too. Sensor lost. Well, guess I'll make the beeper video later. Okay, boy, that was some flailing around. So now we have on modes, if we go down, you'll see that we have beeper. It will beep when beeper is enabled. There you go. And what I've done there is I've just got it on this momentary switch right here. Channel 12.
Now, if it was just this switch, that would be cool. I would leave the beeper on there. But seeing, as you've just seen, a lack of a GPS, even though the GPS is not currently locked up, I don't think. If we go down the bottom right here, no, we don't have a 3D fix. But the fact that it's physically on the system, shut the beeper up. Uh, some of that kind of deep flight controller or 765, I'm not quite up to date on. <laughs> I just knew there was some reason that it was just going crazy. Uh, so there's the beeper on the 765 wing and basically if we go back to our uh, pinout sheet now and look we kind of went through the servos when I tested them after soldering we didn't really test these two servo ports and RX-5 if you go over in the iNav some of the things I was talking about through this there's no UART-5 here in this list we go back real quick to the 765. It says it has seven UARTs, two I squared C ports, 12 PWM outputs, a camera switcher. And if we look, well, if we go into I now real quick, we've got UARTs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is labeled eight because there's no five in this list. It's one, two, three, four. This isn't five, it's six. Five, six, seven. There's your seven UARTs. And like I say, we've used all of them except for, we're going to use four eventually. Three and one. Uh, across the pins of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven UARTs. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, you aren't, no, that's not right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's the seven you aren't, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we talked about these pins. We talked about this I squared two bus that's here, here, and here. Talked about our video transmitter and the two cameras here and the auxiliary usage of the VSW switch, perhaps. The LED control, buzzer control. This isn't, even though this over here kind of hints that UART 5RX may be possible uh it's not in the inav it's just not in this list of uarts i can't address that so it's just as if it uh, might as well not even be on there so there's the 765 wing hooked up to a plethora of peripherals i hope i gave somebody the slightest bit of information that they didn't have uh, if this helps anybody at all, that's my only hope here. Uh, now I have to go back through all of it as far as our do pilot setup is concerned on the 765 because it runs both. <laughs> Thank you.